Hi everyone, welcome back to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. This once again is your host Iggy and today we're going to be talking about some vehicles by New Ray Toys, Ultimate Soldier and Forces of Valor. The first one that we're looking at right now is a half track by uh, Forces of Valor by Unimax and this is a quad gun what is known as a quad gun because it fe features four 50 caliber machine guns and these were used for anti-aircraft uh, purposes. The Russians also used them for anti-personnel uh, fire and uh, the Americans gave them 1,000 of these vehicles to uh, help them crush the Germans. So uh, it's basically a M5, what you would call an M5 variant, and it weighed about 10 tons. It had a road speed of 45 miles per hour and uh, had a range of 195 miles when on the road. I imagine because of the uh, tracks, you would be able to... Uh, take it off the road a little bit it looks like this has been damaged what do you think guys yep it sure has can you see that the whole uh oh my god look at that this is really damaged see that <laughs> yeah all the unfortunately all these vehicles uh, having been in storage for so long oh my god more pieces um having been in storage for so long uh they got heavily damaged as you can see here at any rate um this is made uh, of die cast metal it has very good detail and uh unfortunately it's kind of smashed up there isn't it Okay, well, those are, you know, you've heard me complain about my storage situation so much. If if you had a dollar for each time I did that, you guys would be wealthy. Okay, so our next uh, one up is by New Ray Toys. And uh, this one is an M3. And the M3 would have had a 50 caliber machine gun mounted in the front here on this ring. And then they would have had a uh, 30 caliber mounted in the back here, right there. Now, this is also die cast. And this particular model is not motorized. In the beginning, uh, New Ray was uh, issuing vehicles that were motorized. Uh, there used to be something here similar to that but of course like i mentioned just a minute ago a lot of pieces are missing or are just broken and fell off our next one up is an ultimate soldier vehicle now this one's plastic the detail in this one is very good though and here's the interior there's a broken machine gun sitting in the back there with what appears to be a road wheel or a bogey support roller there's another one in the cockpit there uh, but this has got great detail you compare it to the new ray new ray is very basic now the difference though is that the new ray was inexpensive and uh, it was easy to come by because they sold them at uh, toy stores and uh, hobby shops some hobby shops we have an M4 Sherman, and this is a camo version of the M4. You can see here that it's motorized. It has a little switch in the back there, and it featured a 75 millimeter gun. The British, uh, we uh, sold a number of these to the British, and they put a 17 pounder in the turret, which had uh, some significant uh, hitting power compared to the American 75. 
uh, it had a longer barrel, so they were able to get a greater muzzle velocity for penetration. Okay, and that's the M4 Sherman. They made about 50,000 of these. They were supplied to the British, to the Free French, and also to the Russians. I mentioned in a previous uh, video how um, my landlord was fighting against these on the uh, Eastern Front. He said that one night they destroyed 13 of them, and the next day twice as many showed up. So he said it was pretty discouraging. Um, he had a fellow in his uh, company that was a farm boy. He was uh, from what would be now known as Southeast or more East uh, Germany. Uh, I think it's Silesia or Silesia, Silesia. I'm not sure how to say it, but it was he was from a sort of a back backwoods kind of farm boy and he uh, destroyed quite a number of tanks he would crawl under them and or he would be in a foxhole and they'd run over him and he would stick a magnetic mine well that came to a stop when the russians figured out what was going on and uh, one of the uh, tanks ran over him and then started doing donuts on him and just they crushed him flat so that was the end of that. I'm glad. Can you imagine? That's really awful. I wouldn't want to be in, in that situation. Anyway, this is, I'm rambling again. So here we go. This is an M41, a Walker Bulldog tank. This was used during the Korean War. And the Americans used this tank, I think, from 1952 to 1969. It was considered a light tank. It was a replacement tank for the M24. It looks big, doesn't it, when compares to the uh, Sherman tank? Let me put the Sherman next to it so you can get some idea. Yeah, see that? The Bulldog looks a lot bigger, doesn't it? Okay, we have another M4. This one is not camo. This one is die cast, and so is the camel one is also die cast. It's also motorized. It looks like it doesn't have any damage. I don't know how I managed that. Oh wait, that's broken. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Over here we have an M3, and the M3 had a 37 or one and a half inch gun in the turret. It it had a uh, cupola for the tank commander, and in this sponson it had a uh, 75 millimeter gun. I think it was 75 millimeter. Uh, the description in the book. Uh, didn't give it size, so I, I, I'm just guessing that it was a 75. Uh, this I mentioned in a video previously about the rivet construction, how they would uh, take the plate armor and uh, assemble them, and the pieces were connected with these rivets. Now, rivets could be screwed in and then have a bolt on the other side, or rivets could be put in really hot and then hammered in. And when they cooled, they expanded and uh, it would be tight that way. There's their tow cable and some uh, um, sapper tools or whatever you want to call it. Well, this one doesn't have the motor in it. That's interesting. Now, this one I built... This was a in a kit form. I bought it at Hobby Lobby. It's very light. It's not uh, it's not die cast. Well, and it shows Hobby Lobby. It's actually, I believe, made by New Ray for uh, testers, and uh, I think testers dropped it. 
but it was sold in a kit form. Now this one, this one is new Ray and it's metal, die cast metal, it's very heavy. And you can see the new Ray symbol on the back there. And let me see if it's motorized. Yes, it is. And it does have its parts there to so that we can run the tracks. So you put a couple batteries in there and you can run it right off your kitchen table onto the floor and smash it up that way. Now, uh, we supplied these, made these available to the British. And uh, in Canada, they built a new turret for it, which was slightly larger than the uh, Lee, and they renamed it a Grant Tank. It had a crew of six. Now, this is uh, a, a Jeep, and I drove a Jeep like this when I was in the Army. It, it virtually looked like the same thing, and it was called an M151A. Now, I don't know if that's the designation for World War II Jeep, but that's what we called it. And uh, it really did. The only difference that I can see is here, that our Jeep had a radio sitting in the back here. So it would only fit uh, three guys instead of four. Now, this is the last new Ray vehicle that I bought. I bought this in 2007. It's die cast. And I got it at a hobby store. Actually, I was with my friend Doug and his wife, his poor suffering wife, stood there while Doug and I eagerly looked at all the uh, Airfix and New Ray stuff. And, and she stood there patiently without complaining, I'll have you know. That's a good wife, I think. Uh did we talk about the half tracks yet? I don't remember. Uh, this is an M3 half track with a 50 caliber, 30 caliber. Did I talk about that already, guys? I get a little distracted and forget what I'm doing. Now, these are um, Forces of Valor with the quad guns on the back, and it's based off an M5 uh uh, chassis. You know, I don't want to go into a lot of details because I think I already talked about these. So I apologize if I repeated information there. And uh, here's the uh, the quad gun. And this is the M3 which you see over here. But the weapons are, are missing. They broke off. I think this one has one in the back there though. Let's show you a picture of the uh, the M3 tank, which is here, and there it is there. That's the M3, and it had a very high profile. You can see here it is with its crew. Um, the sixth man is taking the picture, of course. And these were used in Tunisia, and the uh, the British used them in uh, North Africa, of course. Okay, guys, uh, that's all I got for you this time. I want to thank you for your patience while I jerked the camera around and stumbled over my words. Uh, one day, I'm going to get more professional, and I'll be able to edit, and I'll be able to f get some good footage and uh, work off of a script. But for now, I appreciate you following along as I uh, stumble through these. Um, I, I, I really do appreciate you guys. So thank you for joining the Iggy Army and getting Iggy with it. So that's all I've got for you this time. I'm going to, my next video is going to be the uh, British version of the M3. But before I go, I wanted to share one more thing with you, maybe two more things. Hopefully I don't get too distracted. 
Let's see. Let's grab one of these Shermans. Now, the Sherman had a high profile. And look at it compared to the uh, M3. The M3 is much taller because of that extra turret they put on the top there. So that's a disadvantage because um, in a desert environment, that would be very easy to spot that. Uh, 50,000 of these were made and uh, the Americans shared them with the English, the Free French and the Russians. I, did I mention that already? Maybe it's time for me to take a nap. <laughs> anyway, you guys take care of each other, okay? Take your stuff out. Set it up. Don't be shy. Enjoy it. That's the reason you got it in the first place. And if you got them when you were a kid, why not relive the joy that you experienced when you were younger uh, setting these up? Because you get to live once. That's it. You might as well enjoy the things that make you happy and not let other people pass judgment on you. Everyone has a hobby. And I don't make fun of anyone's hobbies, whether they collect Beanie Babies or coins or whatever it is that you collect. More power to you, I say. At any rate, be happy, guys. I'll see you in my next video.